Here I meet to Orange's Tropical Psycho Warning Centers upgraded uh, down into Severe Tropical Cyclone Category 3 system. Here's the latest. The uh, cyclone continues to develop, as mentioned, Category 3, but is well wet of the Cocos Keeling Islands. Category 3 sustained winds near the centre at 130 kilometres per hour with wind gusts to 185 kilometres an hour located within 35 kilometres of 13.1 degrees south and 93.4 degrees east. This is 385 kilometres west southwest of the island and movement currently south at 7 kilometres an hour. Severe tropical cyclone Darien is moving slowly south, well west southwest of the Cocos Keeling Islands. It is expected to start moving west on Wednesday, taking it further away from the islands. So, Category 3 looks impressive on the uh, satellite uh, imagery. We're also keeping a close eye on a possible formation of a tropical low in the Aofua Sea. Tropical low forecast to gradually form in the next uh, 48 hours. Over the Timor Sea, once formed, the lay is expected to move southwards and is likely to be inland over the Kimberley or adjacent parts of the Northern Territory by a Saturday. However, there is a slight chance that the low may intensify west of the top end near the Northern Kimberley coast during Friday, just prior to landfall outside the western region. It is also likely to bring an increase in thunderstorm rainfall activity through the northern parts of the country regardless of development prior to moving inland. There are no significant tropical lows in the region none expected to develop. That's the Bureau's tropical cyclone three-day outlook for the western region. Your Typhoon Warning Centre 2 continues to update the information with the cyclone. Tropical Cyclone CO5S under their uh, criteria will track poleward for the next 12 to 24 hours under the continued steering influence of the near equatorial ridge to the northeast. Thereafter, the cyclone will turn westward as a building subtropical ridge to the south becomes the dominant steering mechanism for the remainder of the forecast period. Additional intensification is expected in the next 12 hours due to favourable upper level flow but upwelling of colder water now driven by a more intense and still slow moving system and it's expected to temper the intensification trend after the 12-hour mark. More restricted outflow pattern and passage over marginal sea surface temperatures should produce a bit of weakening, but another increase in intensity is possible late in the forecast period as the system dips poleward due to a reorientation of the steering ridge and outflow again improves. Numerical models remain in agreement regarding the overall forecast scenario of initially poleward motion in the near term followed by a westward turn after 24 hours. 
the current track forecast lies within the consensus model grouping near the multi model consensus through till the 72 hour mark. Model spread increases thereafter, reflecting uncertainty regarding the exact orientation of the steering ridge to the south of the system. The majority of consensus models keep the ridge firmly in place in an orientation that allows for a slight pole with dip in the storm track late in the forecast period. So it, they're basically in line with what the Bureau of Meteorology's Tropical Cyclone Warning Center is saying that it is likely to or I should say is expected to weaken back down to uh, a category two system and then probably come back up to category three. And on the screen is some of the uh, information provided by the HWRF. The uh, intensity in track. And I have it actually going to a category. Category 4, which will make it Category 5 on the, um, the local scale. But the possibility is still there. And the maximum winds, the uh, scale is the right hand side of the screen. The uh, rainfall scale, right hand side of the screen. We will continue to bring the uh, latest uh, information on this severe tropical cyclone. And not long to go before we celebrate another Christmas. The HWRF uh, model run. And the Bureau of Meteorology has forecasted a wet Christmas. And bye for now.